guys, it's Amy, and welcome to another episode inside of Amy Lee's Land of Love. The last episode was super, super fun. We made a wicked cool library. I will show you guys that in a jiffy. But first, let's go and say hello to my wonderful Minecraft family, wherever they may be. Um, let's go find Bert and Bertha. Where are you guys? Bertha? Bert? Are you guys in here anywhere? Um, oh, there's Bertha! Hey, Bertha! Hey, it's me! It's Amy! Bertha! That's it! Good job, Bertha! You're learning! Is it because I'm on the step? Uh, I was on the bench, so you can technically see me a little more. <laughs> I hope you're having a good day, Bertha. You know what? I need some breakfast. Let me just have my um baked potato! Nom, 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 nom! That <laughs> loves it. Okay, so where do you think Bert is? Um, Bertha, have you seen Bert anywhere? Do you know where he is? No? You think he's that way? Uh, I don't think he's outside, although he could actually be in the library checking out all the brand new blocks. That wouldn't, like, surprise me, to be honest. Uh, Bert, are you in the library? Um, but there he is, of course he is! Hello, Bert! What do you make of the library? What do you make of all these new blocks that you can stare at? Look at this library! Doesn't it look amazing? I love it, it's so super cozy. We can chill out here on our big red sofa. Exactly, Bert! You can sit up here and you can read a book. It's amazing. Are you having a good day, my little petal? I do hope so. So yeah, this is our library and I'm loving it. It just gives this room um, just a whole bunch more character. And we are still going to have a block museum because I do know that that is Bert's favourite room. We just need to find a new place to put that. But have a good day, Bert, okay? I need to go upstairs and get myself a doggy for today's episode. So let's go on upstairs and give them all their breakfast. Are you in here, doggies? Hey crew! Ah, oh, Romeo, your head is in a wall, my darling. Yeah. <laughs> good morning, darlings. How are you all today? Are you good? Are you guys hungry? You're patiently waiting for your breakfast. And good morning to my kitty cats. Hello. Oh, we got little star, and we have Saturn and Comet. Now, doggies, would you like some baked potato? No. Are you sure? How about some fishy? No, no fishy? Okay, what about steak? <laughs> I cannot even get over that, it's the cutest thing ever. Potato, fish or steak? Yeah, <laughs> loves it. There we go, little Romeo and Lexi and Lola and Luna. We have Sailor, we have little Boomer, we have Destiny, we have little Max and Mars. Now the last episode we took Lola because it was all about books and Lola loves books. So who should I take with me today? Um, I feel I need a brave dog, like a watchdog today, and my bravest dog is Mars. So I think we should go ahead and take Mars. Come along then, Mars. Come along, Petal. And uh, we'd better go and check up on Mittens. Is he at the door, do you think? Mittens? He's not at the door! That worries me. What are you up to, Mittens? Hello, Mittens. Let me just shut the door. You coming in, Max? Okay, good job. Hello, Mittens. Hello, Mr. Frost, and hello, Blizzard. How are you guys doing? Mittens? Mittens? Mittens, why aren't you looking at me? What have you done, Mittens? Don't give me those puppy dog eye mittens. I know you so well. You have done some mischief, but what? I don't know. Hmm. I know. Yeah, yeah. Look at me. Keep looking at me like that. We need to figure out what he's done. He's done something, Mars. I just don't know. Come on, darling. Let's get on. We've got so much to do today, and I'm so super excited. I will reveal all in just a jiffy. Uh, but of course, it is time for our morning story from everyone's favourite tree, Mr. Grandfather Oak himself. Come on, Mars is super excited. He's like, story time! Yay! Grandfather Oak, you still have your Christmas wreath on. <laughs> it's like two months later. I love it. Okay, sit down, Mars. Um, can you tell us a story, Grandfather Oak, to start our day? Can you please tell us a story all about... Um, hmm. Oh, I know! Oh, what about a zebra that lives like on a pirate ship in the middle of the sea? And then one day there's like a yellow dolphin and the yellow dolphin grants him three wishes and 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 the zebra he wished he was as small as a mouse and then a giant shark like leapt out of the water and gobbled him up and then and then in in his tummy he met lots of other tiny tiny animals can you please tell me a story all about that please grandfather oak Oh, 
oh, that, oh, that was an amazing story. I love that in the shark's tummy there was like a whole zoo, and I really liked the lion that he played Monopoly with. Who would have thought there was a Monopoly board inside a shark's stomach? That was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> if you heard Grandfather Oak's story, type it down in the comments what you heard. Or send me fan art. I love seeing fan art of Grandfather Oak's stories. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's get down to the cute recruit patch and see which cutie we have added this week because, of course. We have added a very special cutie. Wait, did I did I sit you up, Mars? Oh yeah, I did. <laughs> I didn't think I did for a second. Uh, obviously, all my cuties are adorable. I mean, hello, they're cute recruits. Um, where did this mushroom come from? This is new. This isn't like a sign from the witch, is it? Usually she leaves red mushrooms. I think we're pretty safe. Okay, so anyways, the cutie we are adding this week is Heidi. Yay! We are adding Heidi because she sent me the most cutest picture wait what's mittens doing he's okay uh heidi sent me this adorable picture of mittens mr frost and blizzard in a rock band you can see the picture right about now how cute is that <laughs> i loved it i thought that was absolutely amazing maybe one day we can uh, get the golems to put on um, some music for us since they love music so much. <laughs> so thank you very much, Heidi, and welcome to the cute recruit patch. I hope I haven't removed your side of all that punching. <laughs> I haven't. Okay, so we need to gather a few supplies and then I will let you guys know what the plan is today. We've got a lot of work to do, um, a lot of boring work, but I'm going to find a good way to... Um, uh, reduce the boringness <laughs> so you guys aren't su uh, like stupidly bored while watching me I don't like it when you guys are bored but you know it just happens in Minecraft sometimes there's a lot of mining hence the name Minecraft uh, the only kind of thing I really need right now is uh, I need some coal uh, that's not coal this is coal so let's grab a whole bunch of coal I think that'll probably be enough we have a furnace but we do need to make another one but we can make that um we can make that while we're down in the special place. All right, come on then, Mars. You ready, buddy? You need to be watchdog in case anything happens. So let's go back into the library. And can you guys... Hello, Bert. He's loving the red sofa. Can you guys see anything that sticks out that I've been working on off camera? Can you guys see anything? Can you see it? Can you see it? Yes, it's over here. We have a lever here. And when you push to the lever... It will reveal a secret door. Now, Mars, where are you, buddy? Mars, get away from the fire! Mars, come here! Oh, I'm scared. Okay, Mars, just just sit up there then. Oh, that was scary. Mars, you look adorable up there. Um, so anyway, if we click on this lever, um, it will reveal a secret, like, staircase or trapdoor all the way down there. And what I thought we need in the land of love, because the witch keeps coming and malice is still a threat, we don't know what malice is up to, we need to have a um, special um, underground room. So we're gonna dig that out today. We're gonna make a survival bunker and have lots of survival stuff in there, just in case the apocalypse happens, because you never know. In this crazy world, you never know what is coming up. So, um, Mars, can I get you, I'm really scared. Uh, let me get a bottle, a bottle, a bucket of water ready, just in case you end up going in the fire. Um, can you go down there, Mars? Uh, down in that little hole? I hope you can. Uh, let's go on down. Um, hopefully he'll just TP down to me. Come on, Mars. Is there going to be a crazy dog in, on my face in a minute? Mars, is he coming, buddy? Or is he going to meet us down there? He might meet us down there. Um, so as you can see, I've been very busy digging this whole place out. Mars? There you are. Good job, Mars. We have an iron door here as well. And this is what I have done so far. We want to have it a nice bunker shape. You know what I mean? You know those crazy people in America that like spend thousands and thousands of dollars like preparing for the apocalypse that's what i'm doing i am now a prepper <laughs> loves it i actually am in real life just a little bit like i would love to like really get into that a little bit more anyway i have my diamond pickaxe here so what i'm gonna do um i'm gonna mine out a little bit more um but i'll probably fast forward this just so it isn't like silly crazy boring for you guys and yeah and then we're gonna start um prepping we're gonna start like building up the walls to look a little better we're going to put a load of beds down here and survival equipment so let's get on it
so far what do you guys think i wanted to make sure it still looked kind of what's the word like real you know what i mean like having all these like stone bricks should protect us if the apocalypse were to happen uh what i also want to do is start like an underground little farm just in case we do end up getting stuck down here for some time we can grow our own crops so let me just finish up with this wall here um we should have enough i reckon for the cobblestone we have mined out i do believe we should have enough to get um all of this done which would be really really super cool uh let's start on the uh, roof a little bit as well we can put a few up there that looks really good uh how much have we got now we're getting there we are getting there guys we've got a whole bunch load more of stone to work with so where could we have um our little crop making area because we also need to have another exit we know that you should never only have one entrance and one exit to um a survival bunker just in case anything would happen and you'd be stuck down here isn't that right mars so we need to make sure we definitely do that um, so where could we first put our little crop area? Um, I'm thinking we should make like maybe another little room coming off this room. Um, so maybe if we like make like a little door here maybe and we can go through um, and then we could open this up just a little bit. So why don't we open up from about here? Um, that's it. That looks really good. We just need to have a whole bunch of light in here. In fact, it's really dark already. So let me put a torch down. There we go. Um, and we're just going to mine this out and we need to have water in here and we need to have one of every crop that we already have so we have uh, melons and carrots and wheat and potatoes and all that kind of stuff and that way we will never ever be hungry which would be great um i do i do have my own fear that the witch will come and somehow try to destroy my land of love so we need to have that protected and we need to have a safe place to go if that were to happen uh, let me just put some stuff on there there we go okay so now we need to kind of figure out obviously this is going to be a lot bigger but we need to figure out like a little pathway so we would have this as um i guess two levels of this walkway and then we would have this as a walkway so this would be water um and then the same would be on this side so this would be water so then we'd have a row uh we might need to actually extend it a little bit let's extend it a couple more um okay now i'm a little bit confused because of this area what's all this all about oh look there's water down there which is great we do have our bucket um which is cool in fact maybe i could steal that water at some point i might need that okay so how many rows have we got now we've got an extra three after that so one two and three okay this could be enough room so we kind of want two maybe of each crop so then if the water were to go here this time uh, we would have um, oh wait hang on we'd have two crops of wheat and then maybe another water here two crops of carrots and another water here um, oh criminy okay and then two crops of potatoes and another water here and then it's not equal why are you not equaling uh, actually maybe it is no it's not okay confusion is so very real today uh, okay let's open it one more uh, like so and let's put this here and then we'll just make it do i mean there's melons as well um which we probably need to kind of cater for um okay so we're gonna have uh let's just make it okay now i'm getting confuddled <laughs> one two three four five six and seven one two three four five six we need to dig out one more and we'll have uh this one as water okay cool so let me just like get rid of all these holes because they're like like you know confusing me darlings they're all confusing me so then that would be water uh so this would be a crop so let's put one down there uh let's put some dirt down there as well okay so water uh two lots of crops okay that's cool um and then we'll have some more water going here and then we would have um maybe we only need one of carrot and potato maybe i don't know uh we could have something going here what could we have here uh we've got carrots we have um wheat and stuff uh wait that needs to just be we kind of need a pathway in the middle as well so i'm thinking maybe this will be a pathway um, so let's mine this out so that is definitely a pathway so we can get to all of the crops safely um okay let's move this out the way okay and then this will be uh carrots and potatoes on this side okay and then we'll have wheat here 
and some melons. I think that works out pretty good. What do you guys think? It looks pretty cool. So then we just need to mine this all out. We probably need to give it uh, more room up above as well. So let's get on and start mining this out a bit. Okay, so my pickaxe just broke. No, we could actually make some iron. I think we did pick up a little bit of iron, didn't we? Uh, let's move this out of the way. Uh, let's take a little bit of coal and we'll put some iron. Okay, uh, while we're doing that, uh, we are still cooking a whole bunch of stone, which is great. So let's go ahead and make some more stone bricks. Uh, we've got a whole bunch there. Uh, we've got some... Oh, crime new. What am I even doing for life? Uh, perfect. Okay. Oh, we've still got loads here. We've got loads. That's amazing. Awesome. Well, we have just run out of time for this episode, guys. I know it's been a little bit of a crazy one, um, but I'm really, really excited to get our little survival bunker all set and ready. It's going to be super cool. So what I'm going to do is um, before next week, I'm just going to carry on just mining this out a little bit and then we can do the fun stuff and start decorating and preparing for the apocalypse <laughs> thank you guys so very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also don't forget that i love you muchly <laughs> goodbye